guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. What's going on guys? I heard that you guys enjoy that intro, so I'll make sure I stick to it. Make sure the positive vibes are all up in the air. So, speaking of positive vibes, this car is gonna get destroyed. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. Hey guys, this is Noah in the future. I just wanna say shout out New Air for sending out this amazing Fridge. You guys saw in the past couple videos I made a video on this fridge. Pretty much unboxing it and setting it up next to my workstation. This has been really nice. Check out the LEDs, all the waters. I've been pretty much using this every single day. It's come really handy. You can even set the temperature for how cold you want it for. A mini fridge is super nice. It's an outdoor fridge. It can take water. It can take anything. So this is why we have it outside and the rest of the fridges are inside. This is super nice, super convenient. So shout out Newer for that. I know this is not like a car related thing and it's not the cheapest thing you could possibly get. But I do appreciate them so much for sending it out supporting the channel and if any of you guys want to check out the fridge for yourselves the link is going to be the first thing down below so make sure to check it out this would honestly fit perfect for anybody that has like a backyard grill and all that stuff this is really nice to have outside again it even has a lock down here which is super nice so people can't take things out of here you can leave this outside it can take water it can take anything and again and it also looks super nice with the stainless steel so yeah guys if you guys want to cop the fridge check the first link down below i'd like to thank them so much for it because it's really helping us out every little thing for the garage is really going to help us out and I appreciate their generosity for stuff like this because it, when getting a garage and getting all this stuff like the lifts it puts us on a tight budget for our personal things and this is something for me personally I can enjoy and I can put the rest of the money into the car. So we didn't want to do this but I don't know if you guys heard or not but this E46 cannot be registered in California unfortunately. The pink slip was registered previously um, to another guy that had it from another guy that had it from another guy that had it from another guy. Yeah, it was pretty complicated. We shouldn't have got ourselves involved in that. But the car was $300, so we decided to take this type since it had the pink slip. End of the day, he took it out of the DMV and they said they want the original owner to sign off the pink. We didn't have, we don't, we don't have any contact with the original owner. We don't even know who it is. So, unfortunately, this car is probably never going to be registered. And if there is a possible way, it's probably going to cost too much and it just isn't worth the car. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get, pretty much take out anything that has any sense of value out of this car and save it so we can save another E46 that really needs it, like one with front and damage or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and get the parts and save it to save another E46. Sell a few other parts that we don't need because this is this is LCI, so there's a lot of the parts that have some pretty good value. And Devon, I know, would try to would like some of his money back out of it at least. And then the rest of the parts, we'll save it for a future E46 build. Before we do any of that, I think it's only right that we eat Subway because with an intro like that, we need to have Subway. It, uh, you know, let's just go get some Subway. Oh. <laughs> you need an exhaust on here, it's so good. quiet. Huh? You need an exhaust, it's so quiet. You don't even feel like it. literally felt like the rear end just went like this. <laughs> you didn't feel the tires or anything. This thing is so smooth, it's crazy. Are you ready, boys? And girls, and girls, yeah. Alright, we, 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 I, I forgot to record, we're just too hungry. Anyways, guys, we're gonna head back right now and uh, start taking apart the, the, the unfortunate E46. Yeah. You're taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. He messed up in that way. Jonathan's back there dying. He is dying because we're, we're contemplating it. Are you sure we can take apart this car? Are you recording right now? Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Hold on. Are you sure? I do not care. You do not care? I, I do not care. Alright, Jonathan. Can you do that one more time, Javi? You didn't, you didn't catch it? No, I, don't, I didn't catch that. Oh. One more time for the boys. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Sorry, Devon. I can't hear you, buddy. See you later. That sounded awfully like a windshield to me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> It sounded awfully a lot like a yeah, windshield. Okay, so the, the windshield. Right it, there, what are you talking about? <laughs> one more time, Johnny, for the boys. One more time. No. Oh. <laughs> Is this hurting you, Devon? No, <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm selling Devon's wheels. 50 bucks, the whole set. Anyone wants them, hit me up. These are three piece. They're really dope, super clean. Um, I actually have Devon's Instagram right here, so uh. So I don't know if you guys saw, it starts up and everything perfectly fine. So again, this really sucks. Don't think, we're getting a kick out of this, but don't think like this is something that we wanted to do. So let's just get to it and uh, just take off any good part to save any other BMW. 
All right, guys, so about to give you a little small time lapse. Let's go ahead and start taking apart as much pieces from the front end as possible. Then we work in the inside, and then we'll go ahead and work in the trunk. Let's just go ahead and get to it. For you, you made it easy for me, yeah. Nothing that you. This is where we're at right now. We didn't really take out much. There's a lot of unbolting that's required. Uh, so we took off like the hood. I took out a few things off the top. You know, there's little things like that. I'm still, you know, I took out the coolant, AC lines. There's still a couple, like a lot more things that you do to get this whole front clip off. I remember that the E46 is two screws like right there. So I'm working on that. My brother's still working on trying to get the whole fender off and stuff like that. So that's being a little bit of a pain. And Jonathan, Jonathan's going ham. Like this dude got, oh my Lord, like literally everything out of this car. Even, <laughs> even the mirror. Not bad, not bad. This is an LCI. So I'm pretty sure it's like a lot more improved things. You got like the airbag modules and stuff. So there's a few things that are good here and there. Something this car has, it has the Harman Kardon sound system. I'm really hoping we can get to the trunk because the rest of it's in the trunk, which is really nice. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to do my thing. Uh, Jonathan, I'm assuming you're getting the mirrors out. And I'm gonna try to get that bumper off right now. So I guess Jonathan cut the, what is this line? Power steering line and it's just a whole bunch of blood now. I hope I don't get age restricted for this. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyways, um, we're almost there to getting that whole front clip off and then we're gonna move a couple uh, components of the engine. And then, uh, yeah, how you doing, yeah? Life's amazing. Life's great, right? Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Anyways, he finally got off this fender which is absolute pain on E46s. So yeah, guys, here is the current situation. We still gotta move this fender as well. Yeah, how you feeling? You want to do another fender? <laughs> yeah. Anything for Devon. Oh, that yeah. Guy is, that guy is adorable. Oh, yeah, for real. That, Devon, that's pretty sad, bro. Devon's the type of guy on text. He's going to be like the most savage dude. And then when you see him, he's an absolute sweetheart. We're going to get back to taking his car apart and show him his, uh, his, his, his after picture. We'll FaceTime him, actually. We'll see his reaction. So we'll show you guys his reaction in the end of this video. So stay tuned. Bro, <laughs> what the hell? I never thought a BMW could actually bleed. Hey, this is all you, bro. I'm heading home in about two minutes. You know, I got a family yeah, we, emergency. We got school. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I just leave them. We're gonna go ahead and clean this massacre. Uh, once we get all these fluids cleaned up, then we'll start organizing the parts to show you guys what we got all sorted out. Oh dear heavens. soak the ground one more time but for the most part uh i think that was already there right yeah actually that's too close to our work area that was already there but yeah for the most part we got everything cleaned up looking pretty good we're just again power washing everything this is how the car sits right now 
Um, looks like an absolute piece of junk. And uh, I mean, it still has a lot of great parts, which we're not actually gonna be getting into today. We stripped a lot of it. We we're super tired. It took us about five hours to do what we just did. It's still leaking oil, so you have a little oil pan there. But yeah, guys, here's what we got, which is a crazy amount. So we got pretty much a whole bunch of airbags the cluster both fenders um intake mirrors in coil packs trims radiator condenser housings trans cooler headlights lcis tail lights lcis a whole bunch of miscellaneous parts the whole front bumper assembly the whole front radiator support hood harman kardon sound system parts there's a whole bunch of other little things here and there so our best right now is to get devon back up to 600 dollars. so he spent about 600 dollars for the coilovers and the car in total so my goal is to honestly get him to at least surpass that either Either break even or make a little bit of profit and at the same time send these parts out to people who need them not just junk the car because it's just not worth it. I mean we could we could have just junked the car and called it a day it wouldn't hurt for uh, Devon to make some of his money back and for other people to get some cheap parts but anyways I'm gonna call Devon I'm really curious to his reaction to how this uh, how his e46 looks now oh buddy <laughs> Poor car. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to your new baby. You're, you're, uh, looks pretty good, right? It didn't deserve all this. <laughs> it really didn't, bro. But that's what you get for living in California. That, that's what happens, bro. So this, this, this is the aftermath, you know. Um, uh, good news is. We, we got rid of some garbage. Um, everything else, I mean, we got the trunk open, so uh, we still have a few more things. We got a lot more things we gotta take off the car. We just got super tired. As you can see, we just, dude, this was like an oil spill of a lifetime right here. <laughs> yeah. So we're, that's something we already all, we, we've been Looks cleaning. Like your epoxy in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been at this for so long. It's time to clean up all this stuff, take pictures of everything, start cleaning it up. And Jonathan's over here working on his transmission. He's freaking out. So what's going on, brother? What, you regretting buying a BMW? <laughs> Didn't you learn this the last time? <laughs> yeah, no, it's addicting. It happens every time. So yeah, see the garage as it is now. Three, two, one. Anyways, guys, um, you guys saw from the last clip I said, Look at the garage. The garage is actually pretty much clean now. This is actually the next day. For some reason, the camera, the footage got corrupted after that and I wasn't able to capture any footage. So just a little update. This is where the E46 stands. We've got a lot of stuff inside of it that don't really matter anymore. The front clip is pretty much all off the car, but I put the hood back on it because I don't know where else to put the hood. The rest of this place is cleaned up. We got all the spare parts in the back on top of the garage as well. Floor is all cleaned up, thank the Lord. I mean, this is as clean as it's gonna get, you know. But yeah, if any of you guys need any parts from the E46 mission, hit me up on Instagram. I give you guys a really good deal. All I wanna do is pretty much get rid of these parts and get Devon his money back on it. We're just trying to help him out here and at the same time give you guys some cheap parts to fix your guys' E46s. So we're sacrificing one for the better of the good. But anyways, guys, hopefully in an upcoming video, wheels are gonna be going on this car pretty soon, so stay tuned. And the exhaust is finally gonna get down on the 128, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to smash the like button and without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble, cop a decal to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.